Hey everyone, Dave here, and today we're checking out the official release to Guardians Frontline. So first of all, we've done this game before on App Lab almost exactly two years ago and it was just named Guardians. At the time it was so impressive and I was actually scheduled to be doing updates on it. Though I've kept postponing it more and more and then patches were just rolling out with new content. And here we are with the official release. Like. I kinda knew it's gonna happen cause it would be just weird for this title to stay on App Lab for that long and I'm very happy for the devs that they made it because they deserve it. <laughs> So the frontline version of the game will apparently enhance stuff like visuals, new main menu that you are, you know, in this spaceship, avatars, audio design, weapon impacts, like everything pretty much all across the board. And also they mentioned performance, which I remember was a very big problem for Guardians because there's just so much going on that the frame rate would tank insanely in some very intense scenarios. Because it's been so long and so much content has been added or changed, I feel like it's only reasonable to try out from the literal beginning with the tutorial and like some first stages. I might breeze through some mechanics that I will maybe remember it on the spot. I feel like overall if the devs polished out the performance and just made sure that all the instructions and features are clear for everyone to understand. I've tried it only once to know that this is something amazing and I fully have faith it's a big one for the official store. Let's go back to demolishing aliens. Oh. Commander, wake up. We were hit by a sentinel when we were returning to the base. We have to get out of here. The bug army is closing in. Uh, we're not in the main menu, straight up. Like, it just puts us in the combat zone, I suppose. The graphics aren't the best. But I feel like they're a little bit better than I remember. Maybe it's because this game is still supporting the first quest. But I can expect it more... We'll see if the performance is better. Then it's worth it. Now grab the AK-5 rifle by just placing either of your hands on the icon and pressing the trigger. I have a buddy. <laughs> Great, you are ready. Let's go. No, 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 no. No vignette for me, please. Okay, let's see. The turning is a little bit fast, but it doesn't seem like I can change it. Oh. Get out too deep. But there's no, like, you know, pulling the thing. Where is he? Okay, I got it. <laughs> Thank you. It's pretty short. Let me grab a pistol. That's my thing. What the? Oh, there's gonna be building, there's gonna be just deploying units. It's a lot. <laughs> this combat robot will be very useful. It will help us fight the bug. Now aim the multi-tool at the robot and press trigger to select it. You can give it orders such as move to a point or defend an area. Try to make the robot follow you. Yeah, that's how you remember it as well. And we can just actively control him. Cool. Good, let's go. <laughs> yeah, this is more interactive than the previous tutorial. You have a jetpack on your back that allows you to jump and glide across the map. To use the jetpack aim at the direction of the jump and press joystick forward on your main hand for one second. 
You can open and close your arms to control lift, and roll left or right to control the direction of the jump. Will you go with me? Woo! Good job. We are almost at the base. <laughs> I was just crossing. Okay. <laughs> There's some weird cuts in between. The dying and shooting. But we'll see. So far it's nice. We will have to secure this position and wait for the dropship to arrive. But we will need some help. The bug army is very close. Quick! Select the multi-tool by pressing A and then click combat three minutes. That will help. Oh. My sensors indicate that the bug army is very close now. Try to teleport to one of the two defensive towers by pressing joystick forward. You will be better protected from the bugs there. Good job. Now we just need to wait for the dropship to come. Ah, I want to be in action, baby. All of this. <laughs> Why are you going? <laughs> Why my guns are dropping? This kind of feels crash landish as well. In every game ever, I'm just using pistols. <laughs> Shit. Wait, do I actually have to reload it? Oh, it's automatically ready, okay. Oh. <laughs> What's going on there? <laughs> um, uh, where are my troops? Jim, good news. We have an incoming transmission from the Federation. They're sending reinforcements. Oh. <laughs> so that's money or like resources. But okay, there's gonna be some action. I'll deploy some as well. <laughs> Can I select everyone? Five, Hell yeah! Three, two, one. What's this? Oh! <laughs> I'll be just chilling here. Nice. That was pretty interactive. Maybe some more information, like with the guns and stuff. I don't know why the pistol was dropping as well, but pretty cute.
Welcome aboard the inevitable, soldier. And congratulations for your promotion to Guardian. We've heard great things about you and your role in the Battle of Ulthar. I hear General Stark was very impressed. I can't wait for you to take control of the ship and deploy its full power against the bugs. They are rapidly expanding throughout the whole Sector 12 and this ship is the last defense between them and this sector's colonies. We don't have much time. Please proceed to the control room so you can take full command of the ship. <laughs> that was the old tutorial room. I learned most of the things I wanted, honestly. The rest is just to know what they do and... There are so many options available. <laughs> but I think let's go to some mission and then just... Do some action. Please proceed to the control room so you can take full command of the- So things are like seamless now. We don't have transitions or whatever. It's all in one package. What's the galaxy conquest? Please select a mission from one of the contested planets. Okay, fair enough. Then we have a map editor, which I didn't try before, but this is like the community maps. Yeah, let's go with one more mission. You are back. And just see. Oh wait, I've done refining before, which is true, because that was the stage after the tutorial two years ago that I did it. So that's why it didn't like switch. Okay, so let's just continue. The colonial government has requested additional help in the Kaiza Mountains. Thank God you came, Guardian. Two days ago we lost communication with Central Command and didn't know if anyone would come to rescue us. The Federation wants us to retrieve samples from all the perovskite in this canyon, but it's infested with aliens. Help us gather the remaining samples, then we can all take refuge in the old outpost. Commander, I teleported two combat droids to help you protect the miners. Remember that you can give them orders such as defend an area or follow you. Good luck. Thanks. So what do we do? We have some resources. There are waves incoming constantly. I think I need to like build my own army. The miner is under Come in. That was easy. Let the real fun begin. Okay, they follow me automatically, which is nice. From where? A lot of stuff happening, as always. Not enough minerals. So he's just collecting minerals. Protect the miner through the canyon. Okay, that's simple enough. Oh, what the? <laughs> There are smooth transitions between the 
controls and combat. Okay, I can reload it. Chilling. The miner is under attack. That was a close one, Guardian. Just two more spots and we're done. You proceed be selected. Yes, sir. <laughs> I'm coming. <laughs> I think I also was on this map before. But it was made by the community. And that's where I experienced like insane uh, lags. But now things are relatively smooth to me. Where are my robots? Okay, they're having fun here. <laughs> Our forces are under attack. Where should I go? <laughs> they are fine there. I need to take care of myself. Where is he going? Come back. I'm busy here. Supply dropship approaching. Not now, but I didn't know you can do that. <laughs> oh shit. I'll just stick to him. I very much like the movement. Is dynamic enough for me? What the? Oh. <laughs> okay. I lost. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. So it seems like it's a good old guardian that I remember. I'm not sure what they meant about the upgraded graphics because they kind of seem the same. But then again, I have pancake lenses, so everything's like much. Clearer. It is way more polished now, like I don't see the problems with the FPS drops. The tutorial was way smoother than before, like it was way more easing into the actual gameplay. I only had some problems with the weapon dropping, maybe because I put it like on hold. And the manual reloading is not like perfect because I kept stumbling all over. But the core game is here with the combat aliens 
the official stuff as well going on. Yeah, like I'm very much happy it's finally on the official store getting the recognition it deserves. And if you'll do a campaign on it or not, I'm not totally sure. Like, it's not a story driven game, so I don't know how that would fit into my channel, but you might see more gameplay from it. 